My dad left me that Volkswagen to drive, and I needed to keep that thing running. I was sharing it with my brother. He left us some money, of course, ostensibly to go to college, but I didn't really like school that much and didn't, didn't have any money, didn't really have time to go to college, so I did go to college some, and the trustee, we had to go and see him if we needed some money to register for school or buy books or turn in receipts or whatever, and we'd go and see him and he would give us a little money. Back then, minimum wage was $1.70. I remember that because I worked as a bag boy at a grocery store. And I went to Tarrant County Junior College. I majored in marketing, uh, food marketing at the time because I was working for a grocery store. And played pool and chased women, girls at that time. But I had to keep that Volkswagen running and I became involved in Volkswagen drag racing and you know a lot of people become involved in drag racing and I always say some of us can kick it and some of us can't but I was able to kick that habit. It was, it was an expensive habit and I remember one time I was working at Safeway as the assistant produce manager but I'd been drag racing too on weekends when I could get off and I went to a race and I won $400 and I came home and I quit that job at Safeway because I was going to be a professional drag racer. And of course $400 was more than I could make in a month working at the grocery store. It was a huge mistake. Never won another race. Didn't take me long to figure out that it was a huge mistake. I know, of course, we were, we were desperately poor and we used to buy boxes of macaroni and cheese and we could make for 22 cents. A box of macaroni and cheese was 22 cents then and it would make a huge pot of macaroni that would last two days. And that was all we would eat because that was all the money we had. My dad had worked at the Department of Agriculture in the Fruits and Vegetables Division. And so he was certainly wasn't an entrepreneur, so I didn't get the entrepreneur bug from my dad. Anyway, after I didn't work at the grocery store anymore, I decided to open a Volkswagen repair shop. I did know a lot about Volkswagens, and I came to know a whole lot about Volkswagens and became somewhat of an expert on Volkswagen bugs, little air-cooled bugs. You have to be my age to remember those. But I had a partner and he was going to college and me and him went in together and his dad had a glass shop so we rented one bay in the glass shop and we opened a Volkswagen repair service. So we had the Volkswagen repair shop and we were working for Volkswagens for people. I remember an invoice for putting a clutch in and doing a brake job and tuning a car up. I still, still have that. It was $49. It was a lot of work for $49, but remember, minimum wage was really cheap then, and, and uh, cars were cheap, and a new car was a few thousand dollars. I think even at that time, of course, I was working all the time, didn't have a lot of interest in girls, and I was still very ambitious, and I wanted a lot more out of life.